Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the isometric projections of the combination of the solids. In this problem statement, we have a hemisphere whose diameter is 50 mm and is placed centrally on top of a square prism whose dimensions are 60 mm and height being 30 mm, such that the curved surface of the hemisphere is touching the top face of the square prism. So here we need to interpret two concepts that is the type of solids which is given in the problem statement their dimensions and also the position in which they are placed so the first concept here is the types of solids so here we have got two solids that is hemisphere whose diameter is 50 mm and also the next type of solid is a square prism and it is having a dimension of 60 mm and the height of this prism is 30 mm so this is the first concept the next concept is how they are placed so they are placed in such a way that the hemisphere is placed centrally on top face of the square prism so on the ground we have got the square prism on top of which we need to place the hemisphere and also it is very clearly stated that the curved portion of the hemisphere is touching the top face of the prism that means the flat surface of the hemisphere is kept open to the so we need to draw the isometric projection of the combination of these solids. So before we start up with the isometric projection, we shall complete the orthographic projection and take the clues from that to complete the isometric projection. So go for the sketching window, select the line option, select a line of thickness 0.18 mm and draw a line of any arbitrary length which marks the reference line. Now select the line of thickness 0 0.50 mm and let us draw the top view of the combination of the solids so first we need to draw the top view of the square prism which is nothing but appearing as a square so from any arbitrary point let us begin constructing the square so it is measuring 60 mm so enter 60 mm for both the edge length so we get a square okay and next we need to place the hemisphere so the hemisphere is placed centrally on this top face of the square prism and also it will appear as a circle in the top view. So let me select the circle option and if I just move the cursor on this edge and this edge I get the center point of the square. So keeping this point as the center let me draw the top view of the hemisphere which is nothing but a circle and this diameter is 50 mm. So we are going to place the top view of the hemisphere like this. So this completes the top view of the combination of the solids. So now we need to draw the front view. So let me select the line of thickness 0.13 mm, draw the projection lines from each of the corners of the square prism and as well as the hemisphere and intersect that with the XY line. So from the center, let me draw the line to draw the axis of both the solids. So let me select the axis line so we know the height of the square prism which is equal to 30 mm so this is the height of the square prism and also the hemisphere will be having the height which is equal to the radius so the radius is 50 by 2 which is equal to 25 so now we shall complete the front view let me select a line of thickness 0.50 mm and a continuous line so let me complete the front view of the square prism first so the height of the prism is 30 mm so complete this which is going to appear as a rectangle of 30 cross 60 in the front view so this is the base of the prism so this is the first solid now let me take up the circle option so this is the center of the circle and i need to draw the circle whose diameter is equal to 50 mm so let me select the line option and draw the line passing through the center point of this circle and using the trim option let me just trim the upper half of the circle so this is the hemisphere so this is the orthographic projection of the solids that i need to present in the isometric sheet so just extend these projection lines you can just see that the lines are exactly touching the diameter of the hemisphere or the upper surface of the hemisphere so this is the combination of the solids in the orthographic projection so let me just use the text option and annotate the reference line as x and y and also the reference planes as vp and hp so now let us proceed towards constructing the isometric projection of the combination of these solids 
so it is very easy to construct the square prism so i'll be taking the reference line and i'll be drawing a square prism whose dimension is 60 cross 30 that means six boxes in the iso sheets and three boxes to cover up the height of the square prism and then complete the solid and then i'll be drawing the circle and then the hemisphere so for that purpose let me just go for the line option and enclose this circle in a square so let me select a blue color line so let me just try to enclose this circle so this square will be having a dimension which is equal to the diameter of the circle so this is equal to 50 mm the angle is minus 90 degrees so let me just complete this 50 minus 180 or just 0 and then again 50 90 and then complete this so this is 25 and 0 degrees so this square will be constructed for getting the reference to construct the hemisphere so now let me select the line option again and then change the color to black and draw the ground or the reference line so from any arbitrary point let me start constructing the square prism so this is i'll be doing it in the ortho scale and later on converting this but in the isometric sheet directly you can start converting or drawing it in the iso scale only so this is 60 mm and the angle is 30 followed by 60 and the angle is 150 60 and the angle is minus 150 and then 60 and the angle is minus 30 so i get the base of the square prism so the height of the square prism is very clearly given in the problem statement which is equal to 30 mm so i'll be drawing the true length of 30 and again complete the procedure of drawing the top face of the square prism so again the length is 60 the angle is 150 so next again 60 and the angle is minus 150 so complete this you get the square prism in the orthographic dimension so later on i'll be converting this into the isoscale but in the isometric sheet just join six boxes six boxes six boxes here complete the top face and the bottom face uh, again by taking the height of three m uh, three boxes downwards or if you have started with this three boxes upwards and then this top face so this is the procedure to draw the square prism in the isometric sheet so now we need to understand that we need to place the hemisphere so for that let me select the line of thickness 0.13 and then draw the diagonals of this square prism so i get the center point here correct so i need to draw a square of 50 mm dimension so before this i need to understand one more point that is the hemisphere is having the radii of 25 so from here i'll be drawing 25 and from this 25 i'll be taking up the construction of the square so let me draw 25 angle is 30 degrees correct and similarly from this side 25 and the angle is 150 degrees and here again 25 and the angle is minus 150 and here 25 and the angle is minus 30 so now let me complete this square so 25 angle is 30 so from here 50 mm and the angle is 150 from here 50 mm and the angle is minus 150 so next 50 the angle is minus 30 and then complete this square correct so now let us construct the circle so this uh, to make you understand let me just change the color of this uh, circle or uh, the square that i've constructed to blue color so that you'll understand i've constructed this square here this square has been transferred here correct so let me select all the lines change the color to blue so this is what is the square which is used to draw the circle of the top face of the hemisphere correct fine so now let me select the line option again 
and then join the four centers so let me again go for blue color so using the four center method correct so from this corner join the midpoints of the opposite edges from this corner join the midpoint of the opposite edges so you get center one and center two so let me draw the diagonal the point of intersection is center three and center four so now let me go for a line of thickness 0.50 mm select the arc by center point so if this is c1 let me just sweep an arc with this being the radii correct so this is the first arc from c1 then this is c2 this is the arc radii i'll sweep the arc like this and then this is c3 the point of intersection and this being the radii sweep an arc and again this is the point of intersection that you get here so with this as the radii just sweep an arc so if it is moving in the opposite direction just select the other part and then sweep the arc so you get the circle which is the top surface of the hemisphere correct so now i'll go for arc by center point and then with this as the radii i'll just draw the arc correct so this is how i complete the hemisphere so now this is the isometric uh, projection but however i need to convert this into the isoscale so before i do that let me just select these lines which are not visible to the observer so change the thickness to point 13 correct so this is again representing the radii so let me go for uh, the split option select this entire line and split the line at this point correct and similarly select this entire edge and i'll be selecting this point to split so now you can just see this these two lines are separate entities now i'll change their thickness to 0.13 mm similarly this to 0.13 mm so since uh, they're overlapping it appears thick so what i can do is i can just go for trim option and trim the lines that i've drawn to represent the radii of the hemisphere correct so this is the procedure to construct the isometric combination of the solids correct so now let me select the entire set of solids and then go for the scale option change the scale to 0.816 and click enter ensure the copy is off and then place the combination of the solids here go for the smart dimension so show the dimensions in the ortho as well as the iso so this is 60 mm which is the square prism and this is the radii of the hemisphere correct and this is also 60 this is 30 and next this is 25 okay so this is the dimension in the orthographic view so now if i just show here see here 30 into 0.816 is 24.48 so the scale has been reduced but however to show the dimension i'll just unlock this and enter or override the dimension as 30 so this is the iso dimension similarly here this is 60 into 0.81 times which is equal to 48.96 i'll just unlock this and override the dimension as iso 60 correct so again let me select distance between this point and this point which is equal to 25 into 0.816 times so this is 20.4 i'll just change this and override this to iso 25 correct so from this point we'll be taking 2.5 boxes in the isometric sheet to draw the center point and from here 2.5 boxes 2.5 boxes 2.5 boxes and 2.5 boxes complete the square of 50 cross 50 and using the four point center method draw the circle and then keeping this point and this end point as the radii sweep an arc downwards which is going to complete the hemisphere correct so let me go to the annotation select the text option and then enter iso next to every dimension which is representing that it is the isometric value of the dimension so this is iso 25 and then iso 30 iso 60 
correct so with this we complete the construction of the combination of the solids wherein we have got a hemisphere which is centrally being placed on top of a square prism of height 60 cross 30 mm and the diameter of that particular hemisphere is 50 mm and the curved surface of the hemisphere is touching the top surface of the square prism as you can see here with this we complete the construction of the combination of the solids and their isometric projection with reference from the orthographic projection thank you all for watching